Bitch, we didn't come this far to come this far. You got this. How's everything going, Faye? Um, everything's cool. I'm really excited to finally audition with you guys. That's what I like to hear. Nice hair. Well, haircut. It's very black as king meets Wakanda. You definitely remind me of Lupita. You get that comparison often? No, I can't say I have. Hmm. You're reading for Jennifer, the character Jennifer? Correct. Are you sure? You know that's the lead character, right? I'm very confident. Well, let's rock and roll. We're ready when you are. Yet another audition where I'm obviously being judged by the blue-eyed white man again. If it's not my hair causing attention, it's my skin. If it's not my skin, it's my height. Ugh. I barely uttered a word and I'm already feeling inadequate. It's cool though. I got this. I'm probably just overreacting. Hey, feel free to totally make this into your own, but try to give us more Valley Girl from the Hills with less amount of urban feel, if possible. This mother. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Got a dollar in a dream. Yeah, I got a dollar in a dream. Real niggas on my team. Babe, you awake? I got some Chun Town to go. Yeah. Apparently, it's time for you to call it a night. Apparently. Look, I'm sorry, I've just been trying to study last minute for this test tomorrow. Damn. How many tests does a person have to take to renew a security position? Well, it don't help when you got just corporations hire anybody and then you got security guards just shooting niggas. Why would that be your issue? Yeah. Look, babe, I don't know. It's just hella technical, okay? It's just protocols. I see your journal's out. You been writing again? No, no. I, no. <clears throat> I can tell You've been under some stress lately. All the bills and work aren't helping. But I think you should set aside some time to try to get back into the groove of writing again. <laughs> Here we go. Look, I'm not doing this with you tonight, man. We're not about to do what? I mean, please let me know because maybe I missed the memo. Faye, the memo is clear as day, okay? I don't got time to be writing. Well, excuse me for trying to keep you enthused about your fucking dreams. Look, I'm not trying to knock the whole you got a dream thing, but who really got time to write? We got bills, real life shit, or did you forget that? Excuse me? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm not trying to do this tonight, okay? I gotta get up in the morning. There you go, running from shit again. All this because I brought up a fucking journal? Nigga, are you serious? It's not about the fucking journal, okay? We have real responsibilities. Understood, but you acting like we're living on good time status. Obviously, we're not where we want to be, but things take time. Faye, we are trying to have stability. You act as if we're old. Yeah, but we're not getting any younger. How long you gonna keep this cycle up, huh? Another six years? Hey Tiff, um, can I call you back? Bitch! Oh, 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 this is my song! This is my song! Turn it down! Turn it down! Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, no, 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 turn it down. I forgot I'm on the phone with my bitch! Where the hell are you? I'm in a Uber! It's an Uber. You about to be on the side of the fucking road if you don't chill the fuck out, man. Be relaxed, man. You better not throw it. Oh, what the fuck, man? Go ahead, keep throwing up. Fuck, that's five hundred dollars extra in your shit. We coming, friends. Send me your location, Tiff. I'm on my way. So to sum everything up, this year's birthday bash will be held at the Fillmore. Um, we have artists from Ari Lennox, Corday, Wale, and even City Girls, plus a few more that we're waiting to get confirmation on. Um, everything is set to go, and we are excited to kind of get this thing on the road for yet again another annual birthday bash uh, for our Radiothon. So Blair, do you have any other updates on the vendors? Well, 
Well, Tidal and Spotify both confirmed the dates for tomorrow, and they both evenly agreed that they will give three month free trial to the guests. Perfect. Um, any other updates? Anyone? I'm working on a Trojan and birth control booth. A birth control booth? Yeah. I mean, one of our headliners literally has a song that says, I'll pop it on a D, make it stand, pull it out on the side for bands. Statistics show two out of five guests that night will get pregnant. You're being proactive and I like it. Um, I'll put that in my notes and make sure Mark knows about this. Well, last night I actually met one of Title's uh, production managers. And after we exchanged information, I brought up the idea that Title could host a live stream. Really? How did that go? They were actually very open to the idea. So they're waiting for someone to get in touch with them this week. And I can pass on that information to you. Well, this was yet another successful meeting. Um, you guys killed it once again. I will talk to you all later. We will be back next week. Blair, can you stay for a sec? Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you. Um, sure. Is everything okay? Of course. Everything is fine. I just want to let you know I've been hearing a lot of good things about you in the office and just want to encourage you to keep doing what you're doing because, um, the work is, is people are seeing the work that you're, you're putting forth. Feedback. What was said? Good things were said. I promise you. It's just not too many people go the extra mile when it comes down to doing these things. Um, and you've been splitting your time up from doing our promo run to really help in putting this concert together. So we appreciate you. And, hey, um, um, I know I've been helping out a lot around here with digital markups and everything, but did you get a chance to listen to my air check? Uh, I definitely gave it a listen. Um, you know, typically I don't really give too much of my feedback on stuff like that. I'll leave that for our program director. You know, if me just mainly being the assistant program director, I let Mark do all that stuff. But um, I set, I can set some up, you know, for you and y'all can talk about that maybe if he's available. You know, I, I think, uh, yep, gotta go. Um, be safe, enjoy yourself, don't get drunk, and uh, dodge the bullets, right? Okay. Try to say I'm that nigga, black car sweat like Tinder. Uh. Oh, yeah. No sure they want me for the money. Damn, maybe you'll go bigger. Uh. Oh, yeah. I'ma say keep my chin up. Now I'm a self-made nigga. Oh, my man yeah. over here looking like a smooth mini fade. You got jokes, huh? <laughs> hold, hold, hold up, sir, sir. The crack is not in the vehicle. Look, sir, no. Look, you can check everything. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, we're in the cop? <laughs> All this from the guy who just cleared uh, uh ringworms. So you know you take a thing too far. First of all, it's eczema. All right, and everybody gets well, it you every know, third eczema, day of the week. Ringworm, you know, bumps on your the, bumps on what? What are we talking about? Yeah. For, I didn't told you to start wearing condoms. That's look, why you got First of all, don't worry about me, bro. Probably. For worry about why you so bright with your bright shirt, your bright skin, Dang, and you, you still ain't got no flashlight. You not a doctor. You a rent a cop. Look, they ain't give you a flashlight. They ain't well, give you don't. a chihuahua. They ain't give you no pit chihuahua. bull. They ain't give you nothing. All right, you're bright, you're yellow, yeah, and, make and you ain't got no flashlight. Stop. No, look, don't worry spit. about spit. You need to fin you you yeah, need you to figure out cheek, the yo. you need to figure out the last clue to get to yo, your you, Scooby Doo trail. You really all right, did that. that's good. At least yeah. I got a job. Yeah, get and not spitting on niggas' mouth. Mama, first of all, I'm picking you up. Uh, yeah, cause my girl got my car. Yeah, of course she got your car. It's her car. No, it's always not. been it's her car. Our car. You still a rental cop? Remember you know that? What? Don't let yep. me know you talk. Right. Please do not hit right, these right. people. Turn the car. You about to hit these people? Don't worry about the bright yellow. Who drive? Bright yellow. Bright yellow. to show up. Girl, I'm only 15 minutes late. I ain't know my appointment's gonna run over like that. More like 30 to 35. Both of y'all are killing me. Tiff, baby girl, what's going on with you? You giving me lady under the bridge vibes. What's up? I had to save her from her shenanigans last night. Bitch. <laughs> I know you ain't going home with that nigga Tosis. Please don't. Who is Tosis? Oh, you don't know who Tosis is? Girl, let me tell you. So the club was jumping last night, okay? I don't know how, but I got in the corner with some nigga named Kevin. Come to find out, this nigga got twins on the way and then tried to recruit me as a sister wife. Tell me you lying. Girl, I wish I could make this shit up. You know, I only stayed for the free drinks. Girl, you are worse than me. <laughs> anyway, girl, there was this tall chocolate guy trying to talk to Tiff. And you know, the whole situation was cute, whatever, until dreams and nightmares came on. 
He got the hollering and the whole section smelling like badussy. Oh, not the badussy smell. <laughs> Y'all are so mean. No, I'm realistic. There's a difference. I can't believe you, Tiff. You just disappeared and left me there. Who does that? Listen, I was fucked up. I had a lot on my mind. I was just trying to get up out of there. Plus, I wasn't trying to fuck up y'all's vibe. That must have been before I came to save the night. <laughs> wow. You really left me with Badassi. I can't believe you two. I get home from my audition, and this chick is going up in the Uber. Listen, I don't remember the Uber ride, but I do know that driver had me messed up. <laughs> anyway, enough about our mess. How was the audition? Oh, um, the audition was amazing. Um, I met the director, the producer. The producer liked me, and, you know, she said that she's going to follow up with me later this week, so... So, um, did you get some celebratory D? How? When I was helping you last night with your morals. Okay, and your services were appreciated. What did Jason say? I don't even want to hear Jason's name right now. What happened? It's not that serious. It's kind of serious. Hey, look, man, don't get me wrong. I get both sides, but as the provider, you got to provide, man. At the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do, and you got to provide. Let her take care of the rest, man. It's not about providing. It's about us being a team, being on the same page. Hold up, man. Pause the game, bro. So you telling me after seven years, seven years, y'all still don't know what y'all want to do, bro? I know what I want to do. I mean, I guess I know what she wants. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's hard to find a balance. Look, man, out of all my bros, you guys are definitely relationship goals. Minus the actually being married, minus having a decent job, you definitely ain't got no kids. Thank God, because I don't want no loose neck kids. Nah, we don't need that around here. But, no offense. Damn. Where the heck y'all relationship going, bro? <laughs> man, this shit ain't easy. Okay. Not to change the subject, but uh, this dinner between you and Bree. What's up with that? Yeah, I heard Tay talking about that. Hey, look, man. At the end of the day, Bree got a new position. Bree got a new outfit. And Bree wants to celebrate, so that's what we're going to do. That's what's up. If it makes her happy, I'm happy. How you and Bree keep the relationship going so strong? Hey, man, two words. Communication. And motherfucking space, bro. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. Oh my god, you hear me? Hey, at the end of the day, you can never lose with that. That's food for thought, man. That's food for thought. But uh, speaking of food and promotions, everything free, right? This nigga here, man. Cheap ass nigga. What, man? He look hungry. I'm hungry. We both broke. We need food. No, you broke. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, you the one with the rental car outfit. Oh, That's all I'm saying. Hey, don't shine nobody today. I be getting guapamole, chilling like my roly, balling like Janobi. Now they acting like they know me. Getting. Alright, girl, you got this. Okay. Alright, you wanna go in there? Hey, Mark. No, 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 girl. Come on now. Hey. That's stupid. Hey. <laughs> me? Oh my God. Bring your voice down. Yeah, I interviewed, you know, Kevin Hart, Tiana Taylor. Bitch, you got this. Oh, yeah, I produce shows. I did board ops. Like, what you want me to do? <laughs> I did it all. Excuse uh -huh. me, hello. Can you shut the fuck up? I'm in here trying to enjoy my conversation and can't even hear it. Then again and again and again and again. I'm big body like I'm precious. Hard body like I'm flexing. Blair, hi. Come in, have a seat. You're a busy man, I see. Well, somebody's got to get the work done around here. <laughs> um, but I've been listening to your work, and I'm very, very impressed with what you're doing around here. Oh, my God. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah, uh, one second. Let me get this last thing off and get my full attention. So I believe you have exactly what it takes to shift the culture here. Now, dealing with budgetary issues, I really can't pay you much more than what you're making now. But I think this is the perfect opportunity for your skill set. And what would that be? It's an assistant producer position with The Morning Show and DJ Lil. Now I know, I know, it's not exactly what you had in mind, but I think this is perfect for you. I feel like this is gonna take you to another level. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested? I was super last night, I think that's why I called you. I just
Another feeling. You would think that after four hours, they would have fixed it by now. I've been here two hours too long myself. What's wrong with your car? I had to get new antifreeze and tires. What about you? Well, what's not wrong with it? First off, it's old. Second off, it has 200,000 miles on it. Damn. Yeah, it's a 99, a Nissan. But she helped me get through college. I just need her to help me get up out of here. <laughs> girl, yes, it's giving non-existent, just like your edges, girl. <laughs> Hold on real quick, I have two clients to take care of. Okay, hello, sir. Um, your car is almost ready, so good for you. Bad news for you, honey. Um, your car declined again. So I'm gonna give that back to you, okay? Do you have to be so loud <laughs> with the, again? <laughs> uh, oh, try this one. Of course. <laughs> All right, let's see. Access denied. You sure? Probably. Nope. Access denied. Oh, you know what it is? No. You know how banks like be locking you out? Yes. Like Access no. denied. Declined again. You know how to your account and stuff? I think that's what it is. Um oh wait, approved. Oh <laughs> must be your good card. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Girl, you hear that? It's the broke bitch for me. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> that wasn't embarrassing at all. You look familiar. You from the area? Yeah, I mean I went to Morgan, but then moved to San Francisco, but then moved back to D.C., so. And do you know about the Smith Theater? On U Street? Yeah, by the pizza spot. Oh, yeah. That's where I used to take my acting classes. Used to. I actually just started my class last week, and uh, it's a mandatory thing I gotta do for this agency I'm signed to. Really? Who was your instructor? Miss Shelley. Oh, my God. <laughs> God bless Shelley and the wigs. We were in the same acting class. That's crazy. Wait, what made you leave? I got tied up in some stuff. But hopefully I'll be back soon. That's what's up, though. Have you ever heard about the Midnight Brunch? No, not really. What's that? I guess it's considered a low-key networking event. Uh, my agency throws them every other month. You should actually come through. Uh, my car's ready, though. You should pull up. Here's my number. Hit me. Hey, bro, tie or no tie? No tie. You look good without one. Okay, tie. I think I'm gonna go with a uh, no tie. <laughs> Shit, you worse than me. <laughs> hey, babe, we should get someone that just got a raise. Shit, an invoice? <laughs> Because Bree's my girl, she's gonna get one of them cute little cards that say I slay with Beyonce's face on it. Always about the detail, huh? I mean, I don't ask for much. <laughs> the lie detector shows that that is a lie. <laughs> you tried it. I could test him. I can't stand your cheesy ass. Hey, let me help you with that. I promise you, you don't know what you're doing. Shh. Maybe you do. Babe. Yeah. I'm sorry about how I came at you the other night. No, don't be. Things have been super complicated. We've both been under a lot of stress lately. I know, I just, I know it's just been hard last year. Look, don't get me wrong. I, I would love to see our friends succeed. It just feels like we're stagnant. Like we're just piecing a little shit together. Before you know it, we'll be 30. It's tough. But everyone has their own path. It does us no good to compare our lives to other people. I want to live life in the moment, not through the lens of other people. Can I ask you a question? Where do you see us in the next year or so? Not your career, not mine, but us. I mean, I see us living happy, carefree. You know, with our careers. Yeah, but that's your career. What about us? Well, we both agreed that we would focus on our goals 
And once we accomplished them, we would move on to the next phase of our life. I'm trying to build a legacy, a foundation, wife, kids. What's for us will be for us. Shit, we gotta go. I'm run out of time. Baby, what you waiting for? level up celebration <laughs> girl it's about damn time those free internships done paid off <laughs> okay so spoiler i know that you love queen b yeah. so i made this extra special <gasps> oh my god you got a fiance oh, 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 no, yo I'm what's good man? hey man what's, what's up? up what's How up with you i'm good what's jason i haven't seen well his sister she caught a flat tire so um he's taking care of that but he'll be on his way back soon Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What's up, man? I think they got it. Oh, got what? It. You got that COVID shit? No. It. I really don't think. Uh, oh, oh, you got it. I didn't know you had that gas on you like that. Oh, how much was that? Ryan. <laughs> I'm not selling weed. Right. Of course you're not selling weed. No, Ryan. I think she got us tickets to see Beyonce. Oh, God damn. How you do that? That shit sold out in like 60 seconds. I know. Hey, you a real ass friend for that. I didn't get Beyonce tickets. It's a Beyonce themed card. Oh. I mean, that's fine. Seriously, Faye, it's fine. I mean, it can't be any worse than what my other friend got me. Really? Yeah, girls. You know, they had the audacity to not put any money in the card. Like, who does that? Like, where's your etiquette? <laughs> girl, did you put money in Brianna's card? Of course, girl. Before we get things popping tonight, I just want to thank you guys for coming. I think I still have a few line sisters on the way, right, babe? Blair and Kim couldn't make it, but uh, Brittany said she's on the way, but that was like an hour ago, so. You good. Um, you good. Okay, I mean. That's fine. I'm I'm fine. I'm not tripping or nothing at all. I mean, I guess that just means more empty seats for the persons. <laughs> I also want to give you guys a thanks for all the well wishes and the gifts. I can't wait to open everything, especially my Beyonce card. But I really want to give you a special thank you, Ryan, my partner in crime, my best friend, the boots to my apple bottom jeans, okay? Thank you. I know we've only been together for two years, but I swear it feels like I've known you my whole life. I love you. Me too, babe. As you guys know, my birthday is tomorrow. And I've been promoted to the chief executive editor of the Washington Post. Oh. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> I'm so excited for this opportunity, and I'm even more excited to share this moment with you guys. Thanks again, and cheers to life. Cheers. Cheers to you. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Look, I know we not supposed to be taking this reality TV stuff seriously, but why does a girl with my exact name have a storyline where she fighting her mama over community dick? I mean, the shit is ghetto and the logic makes absolutely no sense. Oh my God, <laughs> Tiff, there you go spoiling shit again. Girl, you're the only one that's like five episodes behind. If you ain't hearing from me, you was definitely gonna hear it off Twitter or The Shade Room. That's not true. You don't know that I'm the only one. You're definitely the only one. I mean, Ryan and I streamed it last night, girl. That last episode was kind of fire. Wow. Yeah, I need to shake them shows because last night I caught Riley's little ass in her bedroom making TikToks on the episodes. This little girl had a whole cigarette in her mouth. <laughs> Plus, my little friend friend, he don't like it when I watch that shit, so. Your little friend? Is this the same guy? Possibly. Oh, that's so cute. 
Why did he bring him? Girl, he always working or traveling. What's his name again? <laughs> Eric. Bree, uh, where did you guys find this beautiful venue? I mean, Ryan called in a few favors and made some things shake and now we're all here. I mean, it's not the place I would have picked out, but I love it. It's the thought that counts, baby. Thank you. Anything for you. I told you, nigga, ain't shit. That is so cute. I know that's right. See, we need to find men like Ryan because <laughs> these niggas is weak. Flo Millie shit! <laughs> I'm sorry, we just couldn't resist. <laughs> Can't take us nowhere. <laughs> uh, Tiffany, I knew you had that PG in you somewhere, girl. Where you from? Uh, Marlboro? You from Largo, huh? No, I'm from Uptown. Thank you. And I'm from Arlington, baby. You know what they say, we a perfect combo. Please, y'all niggas can't drive. Tiffany, Tiffany. Listen, 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 baby doll. I know your game. I know your every single move. You wanna build that wall so I can knock that mother out. Okay, let me, let me, let me shoot my shot again, all right. Let's <clears throat> not. All right. <clears throat> Life without you is like a broken pencil. Pointless. And do you know what else pencils do? What, what's that? They roll on. Now, can you make that happen for me, please? Hey, look. Anything's possible if you blow it. <sighs> That's exactly why you're blocked. Damn, girl. Why, why is she so... Why are you so mean? Oh, I got a phone call. I'll be back. Hello? Hi, this is Ashley from AB Studios. Am I speaking to Faith? Yes, this, this is she. I called earlier to follow up on some things. <laughs> Perfect. Well, the producers loved you. Really? Oh, my God. That's good. <laughs> of course. Now, after further review, the producers came to the decision to not cash you for the project. Um, okay. I mean, can I... Is there a reason why, like, can I get any feedback for improvement? You know, at the moment, we just don't have any black rolls woke. Um, urban? Urban, you know, like, black. <laughs> when we get some more black rolls, well, okay. black leading rolls, I will definitely let you know. We have your information on file, okay? Bye. <laughs> Girls, everything okay? Oh my God! Yeah, yes. yeah. I just want to say this. I definitely don't want to take forever to do what I know that I've always wanted to do. Brianna Lee Brown, will you make me the happiest man in my life? Brianna Lee Brown, will you make me the happiest man in the world? Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, girls getting married. Oh my God, I already have the venue. You are not picking them up. <laughs> I swear we'll have a microwave in there, I promise. Good day in my mind, safe to take a step out. Get some air now, let your edge out. Too soon I spoke, you be heavy in my mind. Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, got me bummed out. You so, you so, you, baby, baby. I've been on my empty mind, shit I try to keep from losing the rest of me I worry that I wasted the best of me on you, babe You don't care Said not trying to be a nuisance, it's just urgent I'm Trying to make sense of those chains, got me a walk You know I love hard But now I'm seeing who you are Let's come up with the list and the balance out the hurt to help me with the stress and trust it to